Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. So look here, I have a 6 volt battery and I connect a voltmeter across it and the voltmeter reads 6 volts. So no surprise here. When I connect a 2 ohm resistor across the battery, the voltmeter reads 4.0 volts. What? Okay, let me introduce you to this thing called the internal resistance. Because this battery has an internal resistance of 1 ohm, so when it pushes a current of 2 amps through the circuit, 2 volts is used to push the current through the internal resistance itself. And that leaves only 4 volts for the external circuit. So 6 volts is called the EMF of the battery, and the 4 volts is called the terminal potential difference. Uh, because it's the voltage that we obtain between the terminals of this battery and is the voltage that's available to the external circuit. In general, we can write the terminal PD to be the EMF of the battery minus the potential difference across the internal resistance. This term is uh, often referred to as the IR drop across the internal resistance. Um, in casual speak, we like to say that part of the EMF part of the EMF is used up by the internal resistance. So only the balance is available to the external circuit. Clearly, if we draw a larger current uh, from the battery, the voltage across the internal resistance will increase and the terminal PD will decrease. In fact, the terminal PD will decrease linearly with the currents drawn. And the gradient of the line uh, reflects the internal resistance of the battery. So I call this the IR drop formula for the terminal PD. That's actually another expression for the terminal PD uh, and that involves the potential divider principle. So the EMF is actually divided between the internal and the external resistance. So according to the potential divider principle, the, the voltage grabbed by the external resistance will follow this ratio. So obviously, as uh, the external resistance increases, um, it grabs a larger and larger share of the EMF. In fact, when the external resistance is very large compared to the internal resistance, uh, you basically get the uh, EMF um, across the external circuit. All right, uh, coming back to the circuits right at the beginning of this video. Now, the voltmeter is assumed to have an infinitely large uh, resistance. So when we connect only the voltmeter across the battery, there's basically a zero current uh, drawn from the battery. So there's no potential drop across the internal resistance and what is uh, read by the voltmeter is actually the EMF of the battery. When you connect the external resistance, however, then um, you start to draw a current from the battery. So a current flows through the circuit, including through the internal resistance. So what the voltmeter now uh, reads is the terminal PD. Easy peasy, ta-ta.